This video explains the basic functions available on the Fixed Payment Ledger screen, including how to record a payment. To get to the Fixed Payment Ledger screen, first click Finances. Click the Fixed Payments menu. Select Fixed Payments Ledger from the list. Now select the student or member from the drop-down list. The Fixed Payment Ledger screen is where you record money for fixed payments. You can also use this screen to waive fixed payments for a selected student or member. To record a payment, enter the amount paid in the total payment field. You can enter payments for more than one fixed payment at a time. The list shows the fixed payments appropriate to the selected student's group or that have been billed individually to the student. Select the fixed payment you want to pay from the list. You can select more than one at a time by holding down the control or command key while you click the items. Note that if a student has made a partial payment for an item, you should record the money on the miscellaneous ledger. When the student has paid enough to cover the fixed payment, you can transfer the money for the fixed payment on that screen. The total fixed payment selected display is automatically calculated. If you entered an amount that is more than the selected fixed payments, the screen also shows the overage amount. This amount will be deposited into the student or member's miscellaneous ledger. If there is an overage, enter a note about the payment to post on the miscellaneous ledger transaction history. The transaction date defaults to the current date. If you need to change it, click the calendar and select the date. The set default field is available if you need to enter several transactions for the same date. Select the method of payment from the drop-down list. If you select check, enter the check number. If you select PayPal or RevTrack, you can enter the transaction number. Enter the deposit group number. This number defaults to the current date in case your program doesn't use deposit group numbers. This will help you see all of the deposits made on a certain date. Select the account where you want to deposit the money from the drop-down list. If you are using budgets, select the budget category from the drop-down list. Enter any notes about the payment collected. Click Enter Transaction. A dialog box opens to confirm your deposit. Click OK to continue. That's it! The student fixed payment history at the bottom of the screen shows all transactions posted to the student's fixed payment ledger, along with a summary of how much the student has paid total and how much is still due for fixed payments. Each line shows the date you entered the payment, the amount paid, how it was paid, cash, check, or credit, the deposit number, where the money was posted, and where the transaction came from. If the deposit was made to a bank account, click the deposit number to see the detail of that deposit in the account. If the column shows FP, the payment was applied from this screen. If the column shows TR, the payment was transferred from money collected on another screen. The Student Fixed Payment History section allows you to print a receipt or delete a transaction. To delete a transaction, select the X next to the transaction you want to delete. A new screen opens to confirm the deletion. Enter a reason you are deleting the transaction. Select Delete to completely remove the transaction. Remember that when you delete a transaction, it is permanent. You can't undo the deletion if you pick the wrong one. If you aren't sure you picked the right transaction, you can always click back on the confirmation screen to go back to the Fixed Payment Ledger screen. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other CHARMS Office procedures.